Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. Chris, could you just talk about after those uh, two close games to start the series, how y'all were looking for separation going into the third game? Yeah, man, I knew that uh, Ben was going to come in and throw well. I mean, pitching's been going well, but the hitter's been hitting really well. And um, just going in after two close games, like, we knew it was going to be tough, especially double headers, always tough playing two games in one day. But, um, yeah, we came out and played hard. We knew it was going to be tough, but we got it, we got it done. How great is it to see Charlie Fisher back in the lineup and just picking up right where he left off? Oh, we love it, man. Charlie's been there day one, man. He's been he's been solid all the way through. It's uh, yeah, it was tough seeing him go down. It was like it was on the edge, but knowing he's come back and come back stronger than ever, man, it's been great. We love it. It it seems like everybody's kind of talked about Gabe coming out of his slump and everybody else coming out of their slump, but everybody's kind of talked about how they've been trying to be be like Charlie in terms of a hitter. Can you kind of talk about that? Right, yeah. So, Charlie, uh, he takes his walks, man. A lot of us swing out the zone sometimes. But Charlie's so good because he will uh, he, he sits one pitch, man, and he gets that pitch, he's not going to miss it. He takes his walks. His strikeouts are really low. Just taking your pitches, and that's pretty much what they mean by staying like Chuck. Just get your pitch you can handle. How much did it energize you for your home run after Charlie hit his? I felt good, man. It's always it's always cool going back to back with a uh, three and four hole, man. But I just knew that they would come right after me, and I was after you give up a home run, they were gonna come right after me, and I had it. Hey, Chris, um, Coach Barry was talking last night just how this team has grown over the year, and he felt like last night in that eighth inning, you guys um, really showed a lot of resiliency. How do you feel like the team has grown? from the start of the season to where you guys are now, just the way you're competing? Yes, sir. Just going out there and just knowing, having confidence is the biggest thing. I mean, when you're when you're slump, it's hard to have confidence, but knowing that everyone has confidence in the line going out there, it's just, it's been really fun to play. Chris, just for that, um, the last game today, what does it mean to have a guy like Ben Etheridge come out and kind of just make easy work of Western Kentucky? It's great, man. I don't have a guy strike thrower like him to go out there every day, man. It's just just a cruise through the game. makes it fun. makes it easy for us, man. Just throwing strikes, filling it up, and it's, he did a heck of a job. Uh, Chris, you I guess you faced Ben a little bit in the fall. What can you say about uh, just kind of his presence on the mound, especially for a younger guy? He, he never seems to get rattled or shaken, really. Right, yeah, he, he goes out. He's, he's not a guy that lets the umpires affect him or let, yeah, just little calls affect him. He goes out there with confidence every guy, every time he goes out. And just the confidence of him going out there and having fun is the biggest thing, man. Just go out there and have fun. How we doing? Coach? Yes, sir. Coach, is, is today a fine example of doubleheaders not being hard? Yes, it's all it's it, it it's all on how you you approach it. So send that to Munz. I know that's what we're talking about. So make sure that Munzy knows this. Um, on a more serious note, uh, Coach, can can you talk about Charlie coming back and just picking up where he left off? Uh, I mean, can you talk about where his hand is at too? Yeah, I mean, I think he's he's fine with everything. You know, he just missed a a, a little over a week of just reps against live at bats. So just working his timing, getting back back in the rhythm of things has, you know, been the key. And being a good hitter like he is, you know, a guy that hits in the three hole, you know, is there because he can hit. So he has a good understanding of that. So it, I don't think, you know, I think you're saying it didn't take him a, a long time or maybe a, a below an average, below average hitter may take a little bit more time than that. But Charlie's a good hitter and he figures it out real quick. Was there any concern for him when – you know, he, he has to go down with an injury, missed last week. I mean, was there any worry that he might fall into a slump after that? No, I didn't think so. You know, I thought he was having really good at bats and had been consistent uh, for a long time. Uh, you know, that every time I make up out the lineup, you know, I know that he's in that three hole. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't worried about that at all. You know, the biggest thing was is that the injury was nothing but – uh, it was a laceration that, that had to have stitches. There wasn't any tendon damage. There wasn't anything that 
limited his flexibility uh, and the use of that hand. So that was good. It was just a matter of getting that thing to seal up and, and feel comfortable that when he took a swing, that it wouldn't pop it open. So it just had to let the body heal itself. And his mind stayed sharp and, and was ready to hit when he got back in. When did you guys realize he was ready to go for this weekend? Oh, about Tuesday. You know, I, I, I really, you know, on Friday at, at Law Tech, I asked him, what do you think? And he shook his head. He, you know, he said, no, I can't, I can't go. And so he, he wasn't on the roster last weekend, uh, even though I brought him, I just, it was going to be a uh, Friday decision with that. So uh, we just, uh, you know, that was the right thing to do anyway, and just let it heal and, and get ready for this series, which, uh, you know, he's, he's been able to do that and, and heal up nicely and, and, and really, uh, really help us the first three games here. Can you talk about his big home run right there to answer back after uh, WKU ties it? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, just a, a great swing on his part. And, uh, you know, one that you know, very seldom does, does he uh, does he miss hit balls too often. And, uh, you know, he got he got a pitch that he could handle. And he put a good swing on it. So. Coach, Coach could you Coach, can you just talk about what how you felt your guys played against WKU's pitchers today? I know they uh, the two guys that played today haven't really not allowed many explosive plays this whole season. Yeah, you know, of course they they hang their hat on their pitching and defense right now, but I've been impressed with their their offense. They've been tough to strike out, other than you know Etheridge did a good job today. I mean, he, he punched them out eleven times, and I know we'll get to that in a second, but. You know, the first game was uh, – that was a tough game. They, they didn't go away easy, and uh, and we stayed right in the middle of the ring and exchanged blows with them, and just like we, we have in the past three, three, four weeks. So this young team has really grown up and, and, and knows how to compete. Even when the, the game was tied 3-3, you know, we, we didn't feel like we were out of it. We were able to, uh, to manufacture and, and produce some run scoring innings. And then of course, you know, Walker only went five and then Hurston came in and covered two and got his first save. So a big win there, but it was a, it was a gritty win that, that Western Kentucky, you know, fought hard for as well. Um, Coach, just to, yeah, talk a little bit about Ben. I mean, he's been consistent for y'all and, and this may be one of his better performances on the mound. Yeah, you know, uh, last weekend wasn't a good good outing for him. He was very disappointed with that. I know on Tuesday when he and Oz threw their bullpen, uh, you know, he was he was not happy. Uh, you know, he was still mad about, uh, you know, he didn't give us a quality start uh, on that on that Saturday or I'm sorry on that Sunday, and uh, and rightfully so. I mean, that's a competitor that he is. He he wants to go out and compete and, and give his team every chance he can to win. So. That bullpen on Tuesday really prepped him for what you saw today on Sunday. Uh, you know, he went out there and, uh, you know, the first inning, you know, he hits the first guy, so he had to pitch around that. But I thought the third inning, whenever they had first and second, was one out and his ability to get out of that inning without giving up a run and keeping us at three to nothing, uh, that was a huge momentum swing for us. But I really felt like in the fifth inning, there was something that a gear that he that he changed to and, and and really just started getting stronger and really getting swing and misses and his sliders all of a sudden became a real plus pitch for him and, and they had no answer for it. So 11 strikeouts, no walks, three hits uh, and, and CG and uh, Forrest, that was uh, that was really big going into game four. Coach, just in all the, uh, all the games this series, y'all have scored first, and it's been a story across the whole season. Just uh, how important do you think it is for the team to get an early start in games? Well, real, st I mean, real early, especially with our pitching. You know, our pitching is, is 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 we feel like is very good, and if we can get a lead, then uh, then we certainly have a chance to continue to build on that lead because our guys have the ability to have that shut down innings and put those zeros up there and allow us to extend it. So anytime you can come out and score first, you know, we've seen earlier in the season when we were much younger and uh, untested that when we fell behind, we had a, we had a tough time getting back in it, but our guys have really improved at the plate offensively. Coach Creel, and Coach uh, Amirati have done an excellent job. Plus our players have worked their butts off to, to do everything they can to, to better their game offensively. And it shows. 
What's up, Charlie? Um, I want to talk about two weeks ago when, you know, you have your hand injury. I mean, can you talk about everything that happened right there and just everything that was kind of going through your head? Yeah. Um, I think it was Danny who hit the base or hit the ball to right field, and I was rounding third. And it was actually the first time I ever slid head first in a baseball game, I mean, probably the last for a little bit here. Um, but as I was going in, I slid head first in the home, and I didn't really feel it. Um, I was kind of pumped up. I slapped the ground a few times, and Will McGillis looked at me. He was like, you're bleeding, you're bleeding, and then it kind of hit me. Um, but it was all a blur. I mean, I was obviously happy I scored and got in there, but it was an unfortunate event for sure. Did you have any, you know, panic or thoughts that, oh, geez, this might be my season right here? Um, yes and no. Obviously, you think about all the negatives right away. Um, but Sven did a great job. Our trainer did a great job of getting it wrapped up and getting me to the hospital right away. So I had tried to stay positive throughout it. Um, and once talking to the doctor, knowing that it'd only be a week or two, that obviously felt great. What have you had to do in terms of, you know, balancing, getting the hand, I guess, uh, ready to grip a baseball bat again? Yeah, um, obviously right away, I couldn't really do much. The first few days, it was just getting grip back and everything. Um, the coach Creel did a great job working with myself, just kind of taking it day by day. Um, whatever felt comfortable, I would do at practice, whether it was in the batting cage or hitting on the field. So I worked with him a lot. I worked with Fen, our trainer, just to get grip back and go from there. Um, obviously, we didn't want to push it. Um, at La Tech, Friday and Thursday, I tried to swing a little bit. And just honestly, it would have been a little bit selfish for me to say I was ready to go. So we just wanted to take it day by day after that. I mean, you haven't missed a beat at this point. I mean, is it just mindset for you in the batter's box? Or, I mean, does it feel like, you know, you really haven't missed anything? Yeah, um, I think earlier in the year when I was struggling a little bit at the plate, I was sped up a little bit. Um, but Coach Barry has done a great job of reiterating, just having fun playing baseball. Um, I mean, it is a game and just going out there and having fun with your buddies. And I think just mentally that's helped a lot with myself and a few other guys on this team. But just going up there and having fun and trying to stay calm as much as possible. Charlie, just after miss, missing those five games last week, can you just talk about what it felt like to finally get back there yesterday and even today? Yeah, um, obviously it felt great to be back in the lineup. Um, whether I'm playing or not, it's always fun to be around these guys and playing baseball. But obviously, like I said, it felt good to be back in there. Um, first A.B. yesterday, I was a little sped up. Um, obviously, I haven't seen a lot of pitching. But um, as I kind of calmed myself down, it kind of felt like I got back in the swing of things. What'd you see on your two run home run right there? I mean, did you know that you guys had to answer back after uh, WKU tied it right there? Yeah, um, I mean, I have faith in anybody on this offense and Coach Creel does a good job about talking about, don't want to be the hero, just take it um, at, by, at bat by at bat. So just kind of going in there and trying to put a good swing on something. And I think Reed was on first, was it? Uh, and just kind of move him, get him running. Um, but yeah, I th thought I put a good swing on a fastball there and was able to do a job. You look like when you were rounding second that you were – not that you don't look pumped up after you hit a home run, but it looked like you had a little bit more emotion right there. Yeah. Um, obviously, it felt good uh, to give us the lead, but also it was kind of like a, all right, I'm back. Uh, let's get it going. Going. 